My point is we now live in a society which I believe is a matriarchy. It's feminized. And men are feminized by extension. And men being feminized means that women are in charge and women are fearful. So let me give you a very simple example of why I believe masculine empowerment is how we actually get closer to God and how we fix the, the fight we're in against the matrix. COVID. COVID was emotional arguments. They came along and said, your grandma's going to die. The old people, your grandma, your grandma, they used emo emotional arguments, emotional arguments to create fear. That works on a woman. A woman sits there, I love my grandma. Most men would sit there and go, wait. Let's just chill. Yeah. We'll I mean, see what happens. Grandma's already 94. Grandmas die. So I don't think we should be taking our kids out of school. Let's just calm down. Men are more stoic and more patient. If you had a household where the man's been feminized and the woman's in charge, it's over for that house. They're full COVID cucks head to toe. 10 vaccines. <laughs> if you had, they are. If you had my household where my girlfriend ran in, did you see the news? Shh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is stupid. Okay, and so, then it's fixed. So wait, wait, so, wait, wait, but no, but this right, is the point. Right, fear. You're yes. talking about fear. The devil using fear. Absolutely correct. How, how does he scare people? He scares cowards. He scares people who can't fight. He scares women. He scares people who are not, who are not prepared to stand up and resist. So masculine empowerment is absolutely not only how you battle the devil. You need men to be as strong and capable as possible.